All right, we're now recording. Hello, everyone. Noreen here. Today, I have with me Michael on this YouTube series called In Conversations With. And today, we're in conversation with Michael. So, Michael, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, pleasure, Noreen. Likewise. So, Michael, for those who don't know you, uh, give us a quick introduction. Sure, pleasure. Uh, yeah, so my name is Michael, uh, born and raised in uh, beautiful Switzerland. Um, and uh, yeah, I was, uh, conducted my studies at the well-known uh, EHL Hospitality Management School uh, in Lausanne and uh, then followed uh, after my studies with a management training program from Starwood at the time. Uh, they are, uh, have been absorbed by Marriott by now, uh, but that was one of my uh, kickoffs into the hospitality industry where we are working now. And then uh, since since then, basically, I have been working in several host, uh, hotel operation uh, roles, uh, mainly in Thailand. And uh, I'm working now with uh, in Wyndham Hotels and Resorts uh, in the role of a franchise operations manager for Southeast Asia. And uh, yeah, I, I look after a few key markets um, uh, of the countries uh, of several countries here in Southeast Asia, predominantly Thailand and the Philippines. And uh, yeah, so uh, and I'm based uh, in Thailand, Bangkok, uh, and I'm attached to the Singapore yeah, office. Yeah. Um, additionally, I also am part of the EHL alumni uh, networking uh, platform committee, let's say like the STAM yeah, here in Thailand. And so we're organizing um, uh, events and uh, kind of like work as uh, intermediary between the, the school and our, our alumni uh, 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 community here in Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh, having been to one of your events, I can say it's definitely one of the, and, and I don't want to offend anyone, but it was definitely one of the best <laughs> Stams that I've that. experienced. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a really lovely awesome. evening and thank you for the, for, for the very warm welcome. And yeah, we had the chance to meet in person in Bangkok a couple of months ago when I was there for, for a few weeks networking um and you know you being part of the stam i was like i kind of assumed that you, when it comes to networking you just you know came to it very naturally but you had a different story to tell me so tell me a little bit more about your own networking journey oh yeah good pleasure um so yes i you know uh i naturally i'm a people-oriented person um, uh, however, the, the, the concept of networking that didn't really um, get to me really uh, early on. So uh, although I uh, you know, studied at the hotel school in Lausanne and we were basically taught by the great benefits of networking and uh, having uh, relationships with other uh, uh, students, uh, which will build up a network uh, for, for the whole career, um, I didn't really get that concept yet at that time. And um, I think only later on, after I really kicked off my career and was working as a department head uh, in the hotel industry, and I started to realize that uh, that, that the benefits and the, the, the strengths of network uh, can have uh, for my future career, but also not only personally, but also professionally. And so, yeah, so I had to, uh, or I started to learn that. Um, and uh, had 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 to try how how this how this works, and so yeah, I uh, I started to join several networking events, and uh, at the beginning you kind of like that alone, and you're not quite sure what to talk about, and you kind of like shy, um, and yeah, and you do not not really know what what to do, uh, but you know, then I think learning by doing it, uh, then you just get a bit more relaxed, and uh, and, and you meet new people, and and start and basically understand that everyone has been in those shoes, has been a newbie and uh, didn't uh, really do that uh, professionally from the beginning. So, yeah, uh, had had to get to know about that. And uh, uh, and I think until now, uh, I would say, yeah, uh, it, it's it's probably easier than it seems. But um, uh, uh, from the beginning, uh, but just just try and uh, nothing to lose. Yeah. So just practice, uh, learning by doing. Yeah, you, you know, for me as well, it was very similar in the sense that, you know, when I was at EHL, I didn't understand 
you know, the strength of the alumni or the, the brand. And it's only when I came out that I started understanding the power of it. But it still took me several years before I actually finally tapped into it. You know, really at the beginning, I was really focused on, okay, I just need to get a job. I just need to get a job. I need to make some money, pay my bills. And that was it. But it was much later on in my career that I then understood that, okay, networking is important to build my profile to then pr progress my career to then, you know, to be able to then do what I'm doing today. I remember going to my first event and I was just like, or first conference and I was like, oh my God, what am I doing here? Who am I going to talk to? I was so nervous and so shy. I didn't even know where to begin. Um, so when you started that first your first event you know like you were describing you know you, you're alone you don't really know what to do what helped you you know go up to that first person like you said just try you've got nothing to lose uh, what helped you just yeah go up and talk to somebody yeah I think it was the, the first part of really getting out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. you know which we also learned and uh, uh, I mean it was a it was also an alumni event here in Bangkok but mm -hmm. I was working at the time in Chiang Mai and so, you know, uh, a lot of GMs and, uh, you know, people have been around in the industry for a long time, reputable names. And I was at the time a, a young food and beverage manager and was kind of like, you know, like, take it slow, not sure, you know, and you never know, like one of them might be in, uh, important for you at one point uh, yeah. in time. So you don't want to do anything wrong. However, you have one thing in common already, right? So you 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 studied the hotel school, uh, so and you have an in, uh, an interest for the same industry, the same passion, and so just, just started to 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 talk about this, you know, uh, and and relate and and once you get to know uh, one or two, then uh, they actually are able to 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 introduce you to others, and you start to get a little bit more comfortable wow. and a little bit more ease. So I, yeah, I think it's a, a common interest. Uh, and talk about uh, uh, about something where you 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 both sharing uh, together, yeah. Yeah, and it's having that you know that introduction, right? Just make it nice, short, and sweet, and then start asking them questions to get to know them. That was something advice that someone gave me as well a couple of years ago. Is just you know people do love talking about themselves, so asking them questions. Oh, yes. <laughs> and getting to know them is super easy you don't have to do any of the talking if you don't want to <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah and uh, i think also one uh, one uh learning i i took is when you talk to people like try to keep sentences open give them a few like threats you know like uh, uh just don't just talk about when someone's asking you with a, with a short closed answer mm -hmm. uh incorporate some 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 points where where people can relate to right uh, uh, or can hook on right so about destinations or or about travel uh, Thailand is I mean Thailand is perfect for this right you can talk about travel destinations food uh, uh, events which are happening so you can you can open up the the conversations with with several threats uh, where the other counterpart or person you are talking to is able to relate with and, and maybe hook on to so that you actually can start to to build on a on a on a on a conversation not just yeah. talking about the, the the sunny the sunny weather or the or the rainy and rainy season which has kicked in and the traffic but actually some of of a little bit more meaningful uh, elements or even if it's an if it's a hobby you know uh, mm -hmm. it can be sport can be can can be activities you're doing uh, uh, going around um, so yeah i think just to start off uh, easy light conversation uh, it's usually uh, quite helpful yeah and if you're attending a conference and you know there there are, you know speakers panelists discussions happening you know think about interesting points that you heard then that could be a conversation conversation yeah. starter that you can then you know carry on to yeah. to something else so that's a really really good tip as well yeah and, and i think one point you have made uh, really people love to talk about themselves and so just give them a chance to write so uh, so yeah your, your job actually is halfway done just open, ask them some questions which they where they can talk about themselves absolutely um and so you know thinking about where you are today in, in your career how has networking helped you today yeah so uh 
I would probably say that network cleaning was, is, is now one of my uh, actually key things which I do in, 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 in my role. Um, so uh, uh, within the EHL uh, network from my studies, so uh, as I mentioned, we're now a part now of the, of the Stamm committee. So that's uh, we're organizing now these networking events, mm -hmm. right? So 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 we so we facilitate that uh, our alumni or even trainees uh, who are currently doing their internships here in Thailand are able to network, and we try to engage them, right, to build up the network and and, and introduce them to each other, and. Uh, Obviously, we are attending most of those events so that we're able to build bridges and connections mm. and are kind of like a facilitator. And uh, and uh, yeah, so that we are able to assist uh, those who are maybe not as good as, uh, as in networking mm -hmm. uh, so that, that they get a, a better start off. Um, then uh, I, I've mentioned about my role as a franchise operations manager, right? Um, so I would say probably about half of my work is relationship management mm -hmm. um, and networking, right? So I... I visit properties. We we look at properties who are about to open. So there are a lot of uh, first first time uh, meetings, uh, people which we have not met before, um, and yeah. So it's 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 always networking, right? It's it's uh, uh, it's a part where we get to know each other, and find out where we where we can um, introduce uh, uh, ourselves in a way, so how how we can best contribute to the success of them. Uh, looking at win-win opportunities uh, for for uh, in that in in my instance for franchisees, um, and obviously how to see how we can uh, drive their properties uh, to to better results. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, one thing I I learned uh, probably in the last few years only is that networking is not not really um, a, a, a quick a quick return on investment. Right? So it's not a, a, a building a network takes time. And uh, I think it has. It is important to uh, to, to realize that it, it has all to do with your with your own branding. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of like your your self self mm -hmm. brand management. Um, and over the time that you that you have some sort of a system in place, how you can um, uh, make make your relationship management, your net networking, uh, somehow organized. Yeah, so that you have kind of like a a, a system in place for yourself. Um, uh, so that you can benefit uh, uh, from that in the long term. Uh, we meet someone, we get a business card. What usually happens is, you know, I put on the desk somewhere, and then it gets on a stack of cards, and then it disappears in a in a box somewhere. Um, and so, yeah, about a few years ago, I started actually to 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 enter those uh, details um, in, in into my uh, contact lists, mm -hmm. and uh, and I started to uh, manage them in. in in lists and uh, add them little comments to to where I've met them, and uh, yeah, and so that helps me actually uh, by by connecting to those individuals, um, whatever it is, right? So I and I can actually now search in my contacts uh, if if I need someone from a specific specific field or from a company, mm -hmm. uh, and we're able to relate someone, and and I think that's where now, for example, when I visit some of my properties, uh, I I assist them. Uh, uh, with introducing other contacts, uh, yeah. which could be beneficial for them in, in, in the work they do. Um, so, yeah, so networking at the moment uh, is one of my uh, key elements, which I use with day to day, even though I didn't realize that at the beginning of my career, that one day this will become uh, so monumental. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I love how you describe that being so monumental. And I think someone shared with me this term called social capital. You know, that's yeah. what you've done. You've built up your social capital by networking, by building your contact list. And I love how you say that you manage them in lists and add comments because otherwise you forget. You forget how you met them, when you met them, where you met them. And, you know, mm -hmm. and being able to make introductions wherever you go is yeah. absolutely fascinating and so powerful. Yeah. And so for, for example, right, so even uh in the i work in different regions so i i have uh, i look after the philippines i look after guam uh i look after myanmar thailand and so uh, the email management of uh, some of uh, the, the hotel owners and gms which i work with is not as in, in some in some countries not as uh, L, um, established like how we how we learned it uh, during school and uh, maybe in in the western um uh uh, hemisphere right so so uh for, for me the, the 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 short messaging services 
uh, so in Thailand, most of the, the people use Lime. Uh, and uh, so I, uh, I have a big team in China, so we're using WeChat. Uh, in the Philippines, we use Viber. Um, obviously, WhatsApp is important uh, in some other countries. So uh, I have on, on my desktop, I think, five different short messaging uh, applications um, uh, where I need to know, right? And for example, in a, in a system like Line, where you don't have the, 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 the telephone number attached, and you basically get connected with someone, and you just have basically the, the nickname. Sometimes you forget who this is, right? And so what I do when I get connected, I basically delete their name or nickname and write in there what their real name is and an association like how, how I can find them back in the contacts. So uh, so for me, this is a way of how I need to manage basically the, the, the contacts of even in, in, in those messaging services. Maybe just a tip. So. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a really good point. And actually, I brought that up uh, on one of my you know, reflections of, of my travels. Like when I was in Bangkok, when I was organizing it, my event, I had to contact people via email, WhatsApp, a LinkedIn message. I yep. didn't have line. I was like, I can't download line. That'll be another thing. But I had to pe- keep a spreadsheet to remind myself, okay, who did I contact? Did I reach out to them? How did I reach out to them? Did I get a yep. response? Just to help yep. me stay on top of it because it's just, there's so many different ways to communicate. Uh, more yep. than there is here. Um, I think when I was in Singapore, I did everything on WhatsApp. I don't think I even yeah. have everybody's emails. But uh, yeah, so my, my day-to-day work is, I mean, of course we send emails, but sometimes we uh, print screen emails and send them then through Line or WhatsApp as well. You know, So that's that's how we uh, how we communicate. So. I love that. Well, thank you so much um, for that and for sharing your stories and experiences with networking and some giving some really good um, learning points and tips. I think a lot of people can take away with them when it comes to approaching networking and understanding the importance yeah. of it and the benefits of having a strong network. Um, so with that, I will move on to my final question and ask you, who inspires you? Okay. Um, I, I, I would most likely say my sister yeah uh, um, so she um, some of you might know her <laughs> some of you probably not um, so my sister has uh, 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 basically studied uh, uh, at the same time I went to school and um, she she basically managed now to become um, a lecturer at the education University uh, of Zurich um, and is now also a project leader at the education University in St. Gallen um, and is currently undergoing her studies for a PhD uh, as a next educational uh, step. And um, at the same time, she was able to build a family. Yeah, so she has a, a husband, two beautiful children. And along with all of this, so she was a full-time mom. She was uh, she was full-time uh, worker. Uh, she was also engaged uh, in uh, floorball in uni hockey and was playing professionally in 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 the in in a, in a league in Switzerland. Uh, and uh, a few years ago, even, I mean, she was working, uh, playing even in the national team of Switzerland and uh, won the world championship a few years back in Singapore. And so I, I was I was so impressed, like, that she was able to, to manage uh, every discipline along each other. And, uh, yeah, just, just uh, uh, admire her grit, yeah, and, and, and her de- dedication. And, um, yeah, uh, and uh, I, I compliment her for that. So. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for yeah. that. And yeah, based on what you said, I think she's going to inspire me and many others who'll be listening in. So Michael, thank you so much for joining us today and spending a few moments talking about networking. Sure, big pleasure. And uh, looking forward to see you back in Switzerland. Thank you. Thank you.